That's just the shorthand, but nonetheless, Terry's on a different level. <laughs> you know what? I should have looked at the Darren thing. Okay, that's just the middle. Let me look at this. So we have middle. I guess I could do the bottom now. So black, white, white, black. Black, white, white, black. Let's see. Or do I need to turn it on? Black, white, white, black. based on the combination of the gears. Okay. I could have sworn I needed to turn these off, but I could be wrong. Oh, I can jump down. Yeah, I need to turn the water. Ah, there we go. Did I not? I could have sworn I did that. Okay, so the top will be black, the bottom will be white. And then, uh, let me see. Let's see, chat, let me just solve this really quick. Okay. <laughs> Bubbles. Okay, there we go. That that fixed everything. Okay, so uh, um, Terry is like quarter circle back motion to make moves. Yeah, that is true. Plus, you have to do that when he has uh, when he's over one hundred percent damage or thirty percent on stamina mode uh, to do his uh, his super moves, which seems which are high risk, high reward. Which honestly look pretty cool. Not to mention his final smash is pretty damn snazzy. Oh shoes! Oh. I think they're just gonna keep coming. They're gonna- oh god. Suck him up, suck him up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't see Ryu having any X bar. <laughs> True. Which okay, I'm fine. Um Dumb. Always wait for the head pop. Um... This way... Oh! Alright. Uh, Alfred Cones, 1923 to 1986. Very generous with the red herbs tonight. Okay. Um. One way. I think this was a one way. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, now I'm back to smash. Yeah. Quarter circles. Terry is a uh, he. Uh, as more zombies come out. 
You really do get the impression that Sakurai put a, like a lot of effort into Terry, Terry Bogart. Like, I've never seen any of the other Smash. Um, I don't want to say directs because I have, but like the, the character breakdowns. But again, it seemed like SNK like really wanted Terry to shine, and like I like that. That came through like a thousand percent on my. Hmm. For someone who's never played uh, Fatal Fury games, maybe like uh, I think the closest I've gotten is playing CVS Two, which for those that don't know, that's Capcom versus SNK Two. Way back on the. Uh, on the uh, original Xbox, the Xbox. Um, it'd be you know King of with the new King of Fighters coming out and seeing all the characters and the lore and the breakdown. It, it definitely has me interested to at least try out the series. My interest has been piqued. <clears throat> Sakurai loves fighting games. Oh yes, he does. <laughs> No doubt about it. I could have sworn there was a, uh... Uh, okay, let's see. There's a bunch of stuff. I'll make some ammo right now. Oh, man. But yeah. It's... Ah, Smash Brothers. So good. It's like one of the only fighting games that makes me want to play other fighting games. Like, organically. But I guess that's, you know, that's that's part of the design. Okay... Did I run out of Magnum Bullets? I don't remember using them all. Wow, did it? Okay, I guess I did. Oh, I got 12 shots. Um, put that away. Uh, flame rounds, grenade rounds. A lot of grenade. I don't think I have acid. I think I need that. We'll save real quick. Um, okay. Technically, I got 18 magnum rounds because I have another magnum. Either way, let's take the grenade launcher. My 54 rounds. We should be good. Let's see. Um, when King of Fighters 15 comes out, we do an online matches. Or I'll buy PS4 and King of Fighters 14 in the meantime. <laughs> Well, first I'd also, I'd also have to get a copy. Um, we'll see. Like I said, uh, I know it's a very good series, and again, my only extent is like the handful of matches I played many moons ago of CVS2, and it's like, oh, these SNK characters, they look cool. I'll try using them, and that was like, I wasn't really super into fighting games then. But it was like, okay. We'll see what this is what this is about. But I had fun. There we go. You no longer need this lighter. Get rid of it. Uh... 
Gunpowder B. I think I can combine these. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I'll put these away. I'll save these for later. Uh, want me to tell you an abridged version of Fatal Fury uh, KOF floor? Yeah, sure, I'm all ears. I know that's like your, your favorite fighting game series of all time. <laughs> so I know you will do an excellent job. Uh, let's see. Forget what the pipe is for. We should be good though. Uh uh. Let's see, a light can be seen from the back of the f Oh, duh. That's what this is for. I figured it out. Oh, you know what would be help? Oh, very helpful. If I had a gun equipped. Survivor's report. The endurance ability of the contaminated guinea pigs is truly incredible. Even when shot in a vital area, they can sometimes survive for several days without taking care of the wound. However, after prolonged exposure to the virus, the guinea pig's intelligence level decreases to that of an insect. Even though reviving the dead seems too disgusting, the virus may still be of use. If we inject the virus into our POWs and release them, they would return to their units and then turn into zombies. This plan may work well for us in the future. In certain areas, the virus seems to have caused the mutation of animals and plants. It may be difficult, but I'll make a good sample for the bioweapon development. I've heard that there is a giant alligator, but I have only encountered a giant creature moving underground. I don't even want to imagine what creature spawned. That monster. I encountered Nemesis. If I didn't know about it, I'd have been contaminated and would have become one of them by now. If it is still walking around in the city, the mission is not yet over. STARS members must be very tough since they have survived until this point. However, they cannot hold out forever. There is a giant alligator, and Leon took care of that, son of a beesh. And there's also a giant moth. But that's only in the original, not in the remake. Auto retrieve mode? Oh, auto receive, my bad. Alright, we got one more facts from HQ. Attention, the Raccoon City project has been abandoned. Our political maneuvering in the Senate to delay their plans are now futile. All supervisors super blah, 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 blah. All supervisors should ev evacuate immediately. The US Army is going to execute their plan tomorrow morning. The city will be obliterated at daybreak for sure. Okay, now it's time Yep, that ain't good. Obliterated? I don't want to be here when that happens. Okay, so now I can get out of here. I have the key I need. All supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors, return immediately. Over. Heard you loud and clear. Okay, so let's see. So, Fatal Fury starts when uh, this mofo named Geese Howard... Uh, kills Jeff Bogard, so Terry joins the first King of Fighters to kill Geese. Uh, he doesn't kill him, but Geese falls to his death. That's basically Fatal Fury 1. Okay. That much I did know. I think it's everything that comes after I'm quite that. I'm impressed you've managed to stay alive <laughs> up until now. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. Nikolai. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. 
You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. No. Ah! Another mutant! I think we just rushed out of there. Another mutant! Okay, I think, um... This might be a fight, if I remember correctly. We'll find out. That's a huge... Yeah, let's be safe. I have way too many of these. Die! Whoa! Camera angles, they're not helping me. Die, you son of a bitch. Shoot and dodge. Shoot and dodge. Whoa. I hope I'm doing damage. I think it's dead. Yeah. I think it's dead. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. I could escape by climbing up this fence. I will climb the fence. Okay, so the rest of the Fatal Fury games, Terry is getting lured into fighting strong baddies. Nothing too intense. Oh god, forgot about these. Let me just run out of here really, oh, really quick. Duke everything. Good. Okay. Uh, at one point, Terry adopts this kid named Rock. Ah, Rock Howard. Rock freaking Howard, son of geese. Okay, that that also I did know. I'm well aware of Rock Howard. <laughs> He's the one I I definitely remember using him in uh, uh, CVS. And I, from what Sakurai said, I remember him being Terry's his, his teacher. So many zombies. Good thing I have like 50 shots. Uh, okay, so that's the King of Fighters timeline. So the King of Fighters timeline is extensive. Hold on, I was just thinking, am I going back? No, this this is the right way. I'm just, I'm not used to things hound, not hounding me. But, um, okay. But yeah, something like that. Okay, cool, cool. That's, again, that's like, that says... Other than that, everything else to me is, is, uh, things to be learned. <laughs> I no longer need this key. 
Okay, so now I should be at a bridge if I remember correct. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, here's the bridge. Oh no! Stars. Damn it, Nemesis! Jump off, Jill. <laughs> Damn that guy. Okay, we went we went this way for a reason. It's easier in the long run and there's less enemies. Less deadly enemies that spawn. Also, this is the annoying puzzle coming up. No. Rescuing you is becoming a full-time job. Thanks, Carlos. I owe you. Listen closely, Jill. They're going to launch a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. At dawn? But but that's only I know. We don't have much time left. We have to split up and find a way out of here. And hey, watch out for that traitor, Nikolai. Yep, watch out for Nikolai. He's a traitor. Okay, so King of Fighters timeline lore. A long time ago, there was this god named Orochi, who was sealed by three clans. Oh man. <laughs> I'm getting some Naruto vibes. That's besides the point. <laughs> Continue. Um, I think I came that way. Gotta up this the right door. My sense of direction is horrible. Um, okay, cool. There's the stupid puzzle. Security manual. Security of the plant since this plant is a facility under the disguise of a deserted factory, civilians will sometimes enter. If this should occur, do not hesitate to shoot them. If they choose to surrender, arrest, and then transfer them to the laboratory as new guinea pigs, you will be rewarded. Maintenance of the device. This entire plan is controlled by the uh, epidemic prevention system. When contamination is detected in the treatment room or decomposed specimen pool, uh, the plan will automatically be locked down for isolation. In that case, you must follow the manual to unlock it. If the contamination is over the limit, the whole system will automatically lock down. Then, you must remain in the plant and wait for subsequent orders. Those who leave the facility without permission will suffer extreme consequences. Okay, so the... Uh, the Kunsanagi... Yagami and the third clan, whose name I forgot. <laughs> the Forgotten Clan. <clears throat> we'll take the sample. Uh... Let me see. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm going the right way. Like, ammo? So much ammo. No, oh, there it is. Uh, let's see. The super annoying puzzle. Water pollution alert blocking of the embolition area passage is now in progress. To maintain safety, the lock will not be released until a manual check has been performed. Um, okay, here we go. A device to check the water quality. Water sample seems to be required. Good thing I have that.
And I call the game won't let me use it. I have it, but it won't let me use it. There we go. Okay. As a device to check the water quality, will you operate it? Okay. So this puzzle really isn't hard, it just takes some time. I have to, I have to get the, the pattern on the very top by moving the waveforms left and right on A, B, and C. It's just, it takes some time. Uh, but anyways, so enter Rugal Bernstein. A guy who found out how to use the powers of Orochi to become stronger. Ah, okay. I've heard of Rugal, but I didn't know he... <clears throat> That's his backstory. Anyways, continue as I try to solve this. Okay, uh... Nah, that's, that doesn't seem right. Uh, that... no. Trial and error. Uh... That's the only... I didn't think that's the only way that can work. Actually, no. Yeah, the only way this one will work is... Like that. Okay. Now I gotta do B. You missed one. Wait, whoop. Oh, my bad. So one of Orochi's generals lied to the Yagami clan to make them fight against each other. Uh, each clan has a relic that is passed down the line. And that's where Rugal Bernstein came, and he's the guy who found out how to use the powers of the Orochi to become stronger. Okay, now it makes sense. My apologies. This, this puzzle is already... I knew it was coming, so I was like, gotta check my brain. Gotta concentrate all... <laughs> all concentration. Anyways, now continue. Okay. Um... Hmm... I need... I think, I think that's actually good. Let me check C. Actually... No, because... Still too much. Can't have anything at the very end. I think... no, this isn't it. No, let's try it. Damn it. So freaking close. Anyways, uh, so he organizes the King of Fighters tournament in 94 to attack strong fighters, but is denied by Kyo Kutsunagi. Ah, okay. Uh... Hmm. Gotta hit this puzzle. Uh, yeah, this 